apparently Easter when you're watching this video. Happy Easter. Or if you don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. Ah, uh, this in celebration of Easter, I thought in today's video I'm going to build a bunny-shaped house in Bloxburg and see how it goes. If you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where I turn different things into houses and also a YouTuber called Insomnia done this, so shout out to Nicki Minaj. Okay. <laughs> that was so loud! Insomnia, girl, you scared me a little bit. Yeah, and someone called Insomnia done this 10 months ago, so shout out to her. And today we are going to try and do this because... Okay, now the thing is, how do I, how do I like shape out a bunny? What does a bunny even look like? <laughs> Wait, bunny. Okay, this isn't helpful. What? Why does it look like that? Bunny cartoon head. We're just gonna do the head. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Alright, so we got a round house and then we have two little ears. How big do we want this bunny? That is the question. Keep in mind, we have to have room for the ears. Yes, cannot forget about the ears. I don't know how long I want this house. Okay, maybe that for the head. And then for the ears, we can do two blocks each. Oh wait, what if we do a floppy ear? That would be kind of cute. Okay, E number one and then E number two. This one's gonna be floppy. Hello, that is so cute. Like that. That doesn't look like a bunny. Wait, hold on. I need to fix this. Maybe, maybe like that. I noticed that people usually make the roof decorated, but this can be easily turned into a house. You know what's not easy though? If we include the nose, which is going to be a one block here. So we can have the eyes here, which is going to be the bunny. And then the whiskers. Um, Maybe two little blocks like this for the whiskers. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hugo just said, is that a bunny? Jenner, to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Another thing is, what theme do I do? Because, like, what theme do you do for a bunny-shaped house? I mean, I guess we can do cutesy, have a little blush interior. But you know what? What if we do, like, the complete opposite? I asked Hugo, and he said, since you like this theme and you would possibly like a challenge, how about cyberpunk? Very futuristic. Cyberpunk bunny theme. Gotcha. Now, for the top of this roof, it's a bunny, so white. The ears can be pink. And then for the top of the bunny, obviously, we have to make this, so we need the nose and the eyes. Should we use basic shapes for this? Yes, yes we should. I used to actually have a pet bunny. Um, I used to have two male pet bunnies. Let's just say they were more than friends. And one day, one of my male bunnies, they went missing. And the other male bunny got depressed because the other male was gone. And uh, he dug his way out of my cage. He never returned. I don't know what he's doing right now. But, but yeah, fun little story. Right, that's the whiskers. So far, this is looking like a rat. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm building me into a house. Okay, what? how do I do the eyeballs? Ugh, fine, another basic shape. I don't really care. It's the roof. Who cares? This literally looks like a rat. How do I make it not look like a rat? All right, now it looks like a demon. Maybe a pink nose. Like a cute little pink nose. And little glitter in the eyes like little white eyeballs should we give this bunny eyelashes do you know how in cartoons you give the females eyelashes what if we give this bunny some eyelashes okay see there we go why did it kind of work okay well good news is that is the outside of our bunny I'm not gonna lie i'm kind of procrastinating doing the inside <laughs> one of you guys commented and said i sound like mickey mouse when i laugh and now every time i laugh i now think i sound like mickey mouse oh, hi kids come inside my playhouse <laughs> Now for the inside. Where do we want the door? Hugo says we're gonna do a futuristic house. So we can have the entrance. I think we can have the entrance on this corner. Then that way on the inside, we can potentially have kitchen, laundry, lounge room, bathroom, bedroom. I think we can make this work. I love me a futuristic house, but when it actually comes to building it, I'm just like, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Oh, wait, okay. You, you guys know what's coming. See? See, there's two walls here. Waterfalls. Where are my waterfalls? Apparently, I've ran out. I don't know how, considering I literally have over 40 waterfalls in my inventory. Apparently, I don't have any, so we're gonna buy more. This little tricky bit here. This is technically the nose and the whiskers, so I know that this section in here is gonna be the laundry room. It's just, what am I gonna have in these awkward sections? Usually, futuristic houses. I don't know why, but I feel like they have concrete as the floor. It's just very cold in here. And then full wall paintings here, which is going to be the kitchen. This ain't Texas. Oh my god, I've had that song stuck in my head all week. I need to get off TikTok. No, TikTok is so bad. Literally, I will scroll on TikTok for like two hours at night. I will get off and I cannot tell you about 
five videos that I watched. It's so bad. For the entryway, what if we do <gasps> like a floating counter and then ottoman so we can sit down and change our shoes. I know technically planets are futuristic, but you ain't ever gonna catch me using this in my box workhouse. Mm -mm. This one's kind of cool though. It does remind me of a gym mirror, but we'll use it. It feels so weird. I feel like I shouldn't be having a futuristic interior. It's literally a bunny shaped house, but so I didn't even know these little statues existed. Someone placed one down in my last video. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know that existed. And then I think that's our entryway. Maybe this can lead directly into the kitchen. It's gonna be a very small kitchen, but it will do the job. Love how I'm just struggling to try and make this a house. And then Hugo's over here, dancing his heart out. Oh, this is gonna be very tricky because it's such a small kitchen. Um, could technically have the fridge on the corner and a fancy stove right here. Or with modern cabinets, even though they are kind of a ripoff, they do look good, so. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I realize it's not that small of a kitchen if we space things out correctly. Oh, I mean, I could put a cabinet here, but then that stupid because it's not connected to the fridge. Instead of cabinets, we have a hood light and just a bunch of oak shelves. I don't know if wood is very futuristic, but I kind of want to have a little touch of wood in my kitchen. So I'm not going to lie, if I was like a rich person who owned a futuristic house, I would literally have like an iPad above my oven just so I can watch a show while I cook. I think that's everything we need in a- nope, nope, we need a sink. Okay, now I think we got everything. So right, now I'll just fill up these walls with some stuff. A good old espresso machine. Express. I cannot say that word. Espresso. <laughs> I don't know why I struggle so much to say this word. Espresso. There we go. I said it. Kind of have to have a fake accent to say it. Espresso. As no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's, it, it was. It's a I would usually have jars and things on the counter, but because this is a futuristic house, we're leaving this as minimalistic as possible. So if you can hear me screaming at all during this video, it's because there is a fly in my room and it keeps bugging me. It literally has been in my room all morning and it just it refuses to die. I've opened the door multiple times and I'm like, look, I'm letting you live. Like the door's open. You can choose to fly out of my room and live or you can keep annoying me and I will kill you. <laughs> that sounds so aggressive. That is our kitchen. Very scrummy. You thought I was going to do a futuristic house and not add LED lights? Can you hear that fly? Sorry guys, that was a bit aggressive. <laughs> Death to all of them. In some futuristic houses, they will have like industrial pipes of some sort. Now for the laundry room. I don't want the laundry room here because it's going to be as soon as you walk in. I'm thinking maybe on the opposite end over here. There's not going to be much to it. It's just literally going to be a another tall cabinet. Are you kidding? The fly is still alive. Are you joking? Where are you? Okay, dryer and washer. Okay, so that's it for our laundry room. I know that this is gonna be the living room, but we do have a bit of empty space here. So I'm thinking a library, but not one of those ugly libraries. No, no, no. Cool little crisscross one. Okay, why does that actually not look too bad? Except it does look a little bit um <laughs> basic. So maybe just a chair, cause you know, maybe just an ominous chair in the corner. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, my cat was choking. Why was my automatic response to my cat choking saying hello? <laughs> you hello. My cat literally started choking and all I said was hello. Sometimes I do the most stupid things without realizing. Oh my gosh, you know what we can also have here? Shoes, our shoe collection. Speaking of shoe collection, by the way, I am running out of space to put my shoes. I don't know why, but on my birthday, on Christmas, on any celebration, I always get gifted shoes and I have so many at this point, I don't even know where to put them. And because Bloxburg doesn't have shoes, we're adding slippers. I have very neutral color shoes. And of course, more LED lights. Speaking of LED lights, I think I'm gonna go around the entire walls and add warm ambient lighting. You know the vibes, dude. <laughs> Why do I sound like a surfer? You know the vibes, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm never talking again. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty. So this section's done. And I know I wasn't gonna add windows. But a little window right here won't hurt anyone. I still don't know what to do with this awkward section in the entryway, which is the whiskers. So boom, a bookshelf. And then next up we have this section here, which I think is the perfect place to have the living room. All right, listen up. Here's my vision. Round ceiling light. The couches, we just put two modern chairs like this. Okay, so then this way we have plenty of room for the coffee table. Why is the vase not loaded in? Why is it not loaded in? Right, we're just gonna ignore the unloaded 
loaded vase. We're just gonna pretend it's there. Anyway, we've got room for the coffee table and because we have a massive wall here. Um, hello, TV. Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> so that is our lounge room. I actually kind of like it. And because we have, again, an empty space here, I just realized we didn't really have room for a coffee table in the kitchen. So that little futuristic dining table. You know, for the past year and a half that I've been playing Boxburg, I don't think I've ever placed down an orange dining table. So now that this middle section is done, we can finally move on to the ears of the bunny. And I think I want this to be my room. However, I'm just going to chop this in half, make this the closet. What if we do slate for the walls? Like a cave bedroom? That's kind of futuristic, right? I don't know if I'm doing futuristic or the Flintstones right now. <laughs> it's okay, okay? Trust the process. Hear me out. I want a floating bed. Not one of those cloud influencer beds. No, I literally mean a floating bed. And then have two sleeping bags on top. I mean, who doesn't want a floating bed? You know how most people can look under their bed? I hate that. The good thing with my bed is that it's literally wardrobes all underneath. So I don't ever have to worry about a demon grabbing my legs when I jump out of bed. <laughs> I'm like you guys. I'm kidding guys, a demon's not gonna eat you. I will though if you're not subscribed to my channel. More lights up the top because we are crazy. Oh, and we can't forget around the bed as well to make sure it looks like it's floating. Can't tell if I want the lights different or I want them bright like this. I think bright. That feels more futuristic to me. Oh, wait, what if for the bedside tables, we copy these counters from the entryway. And instead of lamps, because lamps are ugly, we use pendants on the roof. Damn, absolutely gobbled that up. I mean, in all honesty, can you even tell that this is a bunny shaped house? Absolutely not. Make this as empty as possible. So maybe a fireplace at the edge of the bed and a TV, but I want the TV to be floating. Except I hate the floating TVs. So <laughs> you guessed it, another basic shape. Oh my gosh, wait, you know those beds that have the TVs built inside of them? If you have a bed like that, you are mega rich. But at the same time, I feel like I'd be too impatient to wait for my TV to come up. <laughs> I'd wait two seconds and I'd be like, bored. Right, there's our floating TV and fireplace. And then as for the wardrobe, which is gonna go in here, maybe instead of a door, we have a vault door. Oh, oh now that's futuristic. And then I'm just gonna be lazy and add pre-built closets around the entire section. I mean, if I'd space this out a tad bit more, we'd even potentially add a vanity table. Absolute genius. I'm making my own vanity table because you see these vanity tables, they are so small and you also can't change the size of them. So just put your own mirror, right? And there you go. I think that looks better than the other one anyway. <laughs> now, last but not least, we have the bathroom. And I kind of like the futuristic cave look. So I'm gonna continue it with the bathroom. My question is, why am I so laggy today? I don't know if you guys can see it, but my computer is on its like last breath of life. I definitely need to buy a new computer. This one's dying. Kinda gonna miss her, but see ya. All right, I see you. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Waterfalls would look so good good here but no I refuse to buy any more waterfalls. I think they need to put me on my strange addictions except for the waterfalls in Bloxburg. You could potentially fill them with soap but you know what I'm gonna leave them empty. So guess what we don't get any shampoo or conditioner. Okay I was gonna have the toilet near the towels but the more I think of it I feel like that's kind of gross. It's like you go to the toilet and all the particles in the air go straight to your towel which goes on your body. I changed my mind, we're having the towels in the shower. And if any of you are like, um, Lasker, what if the towels get wet in the shower? Don't care, don't care, still don't care. We're also gonna make a custom floating vanity sink. And it's like this most simple thing ever if you have the transform tool. And if you wanna make it look more realistic, you can even add thin square beams around it. And voila, custom sink. Okay, so I think that's it for the bathroom. One more thing I do wanna add is a chair. I don't know why, just like a fancy chair in the bathroom for absolutely no reason other than rich people are weird and I feel like they would have a fancy chair in their bathroom. So look at that, it's perfect. If you're on the toilet, you can have a conversation with your friend right next to you, so win-win. Okay, so that is the bunny-shaped house all complete. And this bunny comes to a total of $89,000. All right, so coming inside, we have the entryway over here. I kind of like the fact that it's a floating shelf. We, of course, have some photos, you know, of my cats. We have of course a few photos of Samira in Salem and because I didn't know what to put in the little whiskers section I just put a bookshelf and then over here we have the kitchen. This is my little TV where I can watch Hell's Kitchen as I cook. That's gonna literally give that wonderful flavor. And I didn't know what to put here so I placed these decals that I found on Pinterest. Kind of just looks like a massive shelving unit which is really cool. And then if we continue going this way we've got my library even though there's more books than there is shoes. And then finally we have my lounge room which I 
think it's gotta be one of my favorite rooms in this house. As you can see, we're watching Oppenheimer right now. And for some reason, this vase still has not loaded in. So I don't think it's ever gonna load in at this point. And finally over here, we have my dining room where uh, we can just stare at a blank wall. I, I should have put a window in here so then we can technically watch TV as we're sitting down. Dumb mistake, but moving on. Then over in here, we have my bathroom. Voila! She is clean. She is crisp. She smells like vanilla and cinnamon. Toilet, 10 out of 10. And then my favorite bit, which is obviously the shower, because hello. And then finally, my bedroom. Okay, I changed my mind. Bedroom is definitely my favorite room in this house. Because when you walk in, you know it's futuristic with a floating bed here. More photos of my cats, because you love posting decals of my cats more than you do me. And look at that, we've got a floating TV that leads directly into our space looking wardrobe. Tell me this doesn't look like a spaceship right now. Like, are, are you joking? Are you joking? I mean, just to think this is all inside of a bunny right now. You would not think this little bunny has this interior for the house. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building a bunny shaped house for Easter. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I will see you in the next one. Bye! And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck!